Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Sam, or the Pirate Ninja, and today we are going to be looking at some upcoming puzzle games that I just found a little interesting. Anyway, let's get started. The first upcoming game is going to be a bit of a throwback, and that is The Crimson Diamond by Julia Minamata. Now this looks to be a puzzle game inspired by many old point-and-click adventure games. So, let's watch the trailer. Crimson, Ontario was once a prosperous, lively mining town. But that was a long time ago. Now it's quiet, nearly deserted, and some folks aim to keep it that way. Nancy Maple is an aspiring mineralogist, assigned to follow the trail of a dazzling diamond. An intriguing cast of characters has converged under one roof, each meaning to get their own way. Or else? Will Nancy untangle the mysteries and machinations before it's too late? Will the sleepy town of Crimson shine once more? Find out in The Crimson Diamond, an upcoming adventure game by Julia Minamata. The Crimson Diamond demo is available on Steam and Itch.io for Windows PC and Mac OS. The first thing I want to say is just how good this looks at trying to get that old point-and-click style, DOS style aesthetic. Like taking a look at it, you could honestly tell me, oh, this is a port of a game from that era. That era of like gaming, I just find to be very interesting. Because like a lot of great innovations came from that era due to the hardware limitations that were available. So it is nice to see like an interesting kind of re-look at it, try to make that uh, classic feel again. I do kind of like the interesting way they play with color in here, because like taking a look, we have pink doors and blue like cattails. It looks like a, there's a lot of color theory in here going around trying to kind of create that sense of unease, that like something is wrong. And I find that to be pretty interesting. Very much so. I mean, it is nice to see return to the form of point and clicks, because I mean, it's just a genre we don't see a lot of nowadays. I mean, the only major one that I can think of that came out recently is Return to Monkey Island, which you know, is based off of a classic point and click series. So it is interesting to see kind of some new IPs being developed. The biggest thing that we're gonna end up needing to see is whether or not it plays kind of into that old school jank, or if it tries to like, give you a similar aesthetic while being a bit kind of smoother to run through. Taking a look, there is a demo available, good, and if you are interested in this, please go check out the demo. No release date yet, hopefully, you know, it's within a year or two. My personal kind of philosophy is that I think that most games should come out within a year or two of their like original reveal. I think that's kind of like a good pace for when you would want to show a game but hey i've never released a game so who am i to judge that's just kind of my gut instinct but yeah taking a look very much interested i am excited to see kind of how this ends up turning out i really do just like the way it looks it has such a interesting aesthetic very creepy that is something i will always say for some reason, like, the older the graphics and kind of that older aesthetic just gives some really creepy vibes. I mean, Fate, for one thing, is such a creepy series. One of my favorite horror series in general. I think one of the things that makes it so creepy is that so much is left up to the imagination. When you aren't able to tell what something is, your brain's probably going to go for the worst case scenario. Next game we're looking at is also point and click though in a much more modern rendition, and that is Birth by Madison Carr. Well, let's take a look at the trailer.
interesting. One thing I have to say, again, amazing aesthetic. Like, there is, again, like, a slightly creepy tone to everything, because I mean, look at it. It is interesting seeing, like, the lack of eyes on dang near everything. Like, none of the fish have eyes, none of us have eyes. We all have kind of the uh, Plague Doctor mask, which I really like. I eventually need to end up getting a Plague Doctor mask. Oh, that thing right there. Yeah, so this thing we saw here is this. Hmm. Okay, good to know, good to know. I mean, this is gonna be a much more kind of standard puzzle game for what like a lot of people are used to. You know, that being a collection of small, like, mini-game puzzles? Micro-puzzles, mini-puzzles, and kind of going from place to place solving each individual one. And like, I like those type of puzzle games. I like the ones where it's just a bunch of separate puzzles, kind of in the vein of like a Professor Layton style. I think those are fun. Those are really enjoyable. So this definitely is something that catches my interest. Again, taking a look, again, lack of eyes. Like, look at that. Nothing has eyes. And you know, there's a freaking rib cage, so. Eh. I mean, look at this city. It is just beautiful in a very off-putting way. Again, taking a look, I am very much interested in this just to take a look at what all of this insanity even, like, is. Because that is something I love. I love insanity and just kind of, like, surrealism and those weird aesthetics. No them available, but we do have a release date. And that is January 2023. So, you know, two months away. Hooray! Yeah, I mean, looking at everything so far, I think it is something where it is definitely like, you will need to check your vibes to see if uh, it's right for you. I mean, I think that's something that I notice a lot when it comes to like, people trying to decide whether or not they want to play a game is like, like for me to be interested in a game does not take a lot. I'm pretty stupid. Give me a cool art style. Give me some interesting looking puzzles or activities, and boom, I am sold. Like, really, it doesn't take a lot to impress me, and like, I really like to go into games normally as blind as possible. Like, I definitely know there are people who want to like, get info dumped everything about a game, know everything they can. For me, it's like, watching one trailer, I'm like, yeah, no, okay, we're on... Like, it is very, I am very stupid when it comes to uh, deciding what games to play. But, eh, it makes it so I can experience more games and hopefully find a few diamonds in the rough. But yeah, I am very interested in kind of what this does have to offer. Hopefully the puzzles aren't too difficult because again, I'm stupid. But I mean, what's been shown so far is very intriguing. It almost does give a feeling to like Rusty Lake style point and clicks, which I mean, I love the Rusty Lake devs and like kind of all of their series, the Cube Escape stuff, the Rusty Lake stuff, everything. I find it all to be, you know, a lot of fun. And this is going for like a pseudo similar aesthetic with uh, some interesting looking puzzles. So, hey, hopefully it's in a similar vein. And here is the last game we're going to be looking at. Creature Lab by Image Power SA. Now this one looks to be a bit different from the other ones I've talked about, but yeah. Let's watch that trailer.
So let's talk about that. Okay. Huh. Yeah, that's a different vibe. That is a different vibe. Okay. So this is just like the Frankenstein simulator. We're just making mo- Oh. <laughs> Imagine if I could read. Uh, <laughs> become Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> a Frankenstein. Yeah. A little weird that it looks like all of them are schoolgirls. Might just be me. Might just be me. But, yeah. So it looks like the entire thing is, like, we are making different monsters. And then, like, doing... I wonder what this invasion of the city is. What is this part? Gather equipment. I wonder, do we control them? I am interested in what kind of the invasion of the city part, like, actually looks like. Because, I mean, this is really all we, like... Literally, that is all we have seen of the invade the city part of the game. So I'm interested to see kind of what that part ends up actually being. I hate myself for thinking about this, but the first thing I'm seeing with like these detachable body parts and all that is just freaking bug snacks. I don't know why. I mean, I know exactly why because like that's basically what bug snacks is. But I don't like that that's what I think of. So this is definitely like technically a puzzle game but much uh, more in the experimentation side rather than uh, kind of in the purely a puzzle game. Very interesting. Let's take a look at some screenshots. Okay, again, bringing our corpse over to the uh, table. Okay, so looks like we're like getting specific types of blood. Again, what all can this tell us? Acquire more substances. Acquire new bodies. Okay. I hope this is something you can actually do and not just like an, oh, you gotta send your monsters out on a mission. What would you do? Okay. It looks like there might actually be some males. Just looks like for the trailer, they're all female. I mean, yeah, I guess looking at the crusher, it isn't just all freaking schoolgirls. Well, that's good at least. It'd be weird if they were all just schoolgirls. I mean, it almost gives like a similar vibe to something like kind of a mortuary assistant type game. Oh, I don't want to say a uh, surgeon simulator, but I mean, it does come to mind. A lot of this is going to be like very dependent on like how kind of interesting and creative the monsters you can make actually are. But I am, I am interested. A demo is available. Good, we like that. As well as a release date. Wonderful. Not many games have both. Uh, January 19th, 2023. So mid-January. Mark it on your calendars if you wanna play it. Yeah, I mean, I think this does seem fairly interesting. I mean, I can definitely see a lot of people having as much fun with all the different experimentations, seeing all the different mutants you can create. I think that is something really good to have in your game. I don't know if this is something where... I'll need to see what the actual, like, invasion part is like before I end up picking it up myself. But I am very interested. Because, like, this looks like just perfect feed for, uh, game-breaking and just absolutely creating the most abhorrent abominations out there. Well, that about does it. If you like any of the games you saw, links are down in the description. And if you like the video as a whole, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? It really does mean a lot. Anyway, my name's been Sam, or the Pirate Ninja, and see you all next time. Bye!